The Story of the Good Samaritan In Luke 10, 33 and 34, a Samaritan was traveling down a road. He came to where a hurt man was. When he saw the man, he felt very sorry for him. The Samaritan went to him, poured olive oil and wine on his wounds, and bandaged them. Then he put the hurt man on his own donkey and took him to an inn where they cared for him. Who are our neighbors? Jesus answered that question with the story of the Good Samaritan. Our neighbors include anyone that God places on our path, especially those in need. We know that we're instructed to love our neighbors. And this is not a uh, far-off love, you know, just looking at them from afar and saying, I love you. It is being there for them when they need us. Now, I know that you may say there's so little time that I'm so busy. <laughs> no matter, God's Word urges us to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. That is one of the reasons we're here. No excuses. We have to do that. I used to tell my church members when I had an actual church building this, that, you know, you look to me, I would say, to do this type of thing. But I can't do it alone. I'm only one person. And so you must take the mantle and do this also. This very day, you will encounter someone who needs a word of encouragement a pat on the back, a helping hand, a heartfelt hug, or a sincere prayer. And if you don't reach out to this person, who will? So look for that neighbor in need and then do something to help. You can make a difference in someone's life and there is no better feeling than that.